In this video, you'll learn how to organize grid columns and data cells into logical groups or bands and display them in multiple rows. Before we start, let's take a look at this feature in the demos. The first demo illustrates how to create a card-like view of the grid data by organizing the grid columns and cells into bands. A band is visually represented by a header displayed above headers of the columns it combines. Bands can be created by columns of the grid view band column type, header bands, or by using the columns bound to the grid, data cell bands. Header bands are used to organize columns into logical groups. They don't have associated data cells and are displayed only as a top-level header of the grid. Data cell bands are organized by using the grid columns bound to data source fields. They contain data values displayed in the grid. Data cell bands allow you to create a structure according to which the associated data cells are displayed within the grid rows. You can see that data cell bands support all features available for our grid, like sorting and filtering. This demo shows how the grid exports data with data cell bands to various formats. Open the exported document to see that the grid data is displayed correctly. Now let's take a look at this in Visual Studio. I already have a grid that's bound to some data. I'm going to create a multi-row header and cell representation by using header and data cell bands. Open the designer and select the columns item. Here we can see the grid columns in the order that they've been added. First, let's create a header band that will organize its child columns in a logical group. Add a new column of the grid view band column type to the collection and name it employee information. This column is not bound to any data source field and is used only for display purposes. Add other columns to the employee information column. The child title and address columns are organized into data cell bands. They create a structure according to which the associated data cells are displayed. To make it look better, I'll set the alignment of the banded headers and the grid width. And let's take a look at this in the browser. You can see that the grid's columns are organized in logical groups, or bands. The employee information header band doesn't affect the grid cells. However, data cell bands, title and address columns, create a structure according to which their associated data cells are displayed in the grid rows. Now let's try to move columns within bands. You can see that if we move the title or address columns, their child columns are also moved. Remember though, that you can't move columns between different bands. Now let's look at how to export the grid view. Add the ASPX grid view exporter on the page and specify its grid view ID property. Set the landscape property to true to export grid data in landscape. Then add an ASPX button on the page, specify its text property and handle the click event. Within the click event, call the write PDF to response method. And let's take a look at this in the browser. Click the export button and save it as a PDF file. Then I'll open the file and you'll see that all the grid content is shown correctly. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our ASP.NET controls, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.